do what I gotta do. Happy New Year, everybody. Ah, we made it. We're here. H-E-R-E, goddammit, bitches. We're here. Look at that safety pin. She wants to see my boobs. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy fucking New Year. I had to put on my little shortcut. This thing is damn tight. Oh, you want to get that to you? Um, little claw film. Hey, Jim. Happy New Year. <clears throat> Happy fucking new new. Hola from Mexico. Hola, hola, hola. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. It's 2018, Jim. I'm in my little favorite little coat. My go-to girl. I just want to get on and say Happy New Year to everyone since I was in drag. But I had a show. And I'm tired. So I'm going to smoke a couple of blunts. About six. The ring in the new year. Bump me some motherfucking music. Because they got some shit playing on down the street. They're not giving a fuck. I'm not giving a fuck. And I'm going to get my zero. Oh, I'm like, I hear footsteps. And now nothing wasn't coming up here. Happy uh, New Year's, uh, Curly Kelly girl. It's New Year's. No time for the bullshit. Uh, smoke some motherfucking weed. And get your motherfucking jazz back. It wasn't a friend of hers. Who? What's going on? What's going on? Happy New Year! Thank you to the Happy New Year! Happy New New! Happy New! Happy New! I took my nails off already. I just want to take off the earrings because I would look horrible without earrings. But it's my new little go-to, honey. Just swoop her all the way around, claw her through, give her a little volume, give her a little need a baker. Hey, Indiana girls, a new year, Jet. No time for the bullshit. Marco, we made it. Olive Garden in the week, bitch. Oh, I can't even look. I'm going to go to Olive Garden. Maybe Friday. Do a little Friday something. Oh, I want this shit off me. I want to take this shit off. I'm just on here because it's New Year's and I just want to get my juice with everybody real quick. Smoke thine because I am in thine home. And you know, I sat on thine toilet. Well, baby, don't go to Olive Garden if you're trash. You ain't nobody asked you to go. I said I was going. See the difference between I and you? I am I. You is you. If you don't like it, don't go. And that's the bottom line to it. Take your ass to McDonald's, bitch. But I'm going to Olive Garden. And if you don't like it, don't spend your money, boo. But see, I make my own. So I buy what the fuck I want. 
without asking or saying to anything to any man, motherfucker. It's the new year, boo boo. And I'm still going to Olive Garden. Whether you like it or not, peace and blessings to you too, love. Happy motherfucking new year. Tell your brother I said happy new year. I need to be on Queen's Court. I do. I'm, I want to be with my Madison. I never met Kaya, but I do know Madison. That's my homegirl. And I knew her before we did our little taping, which should be out sometime this month, I hope, because it is the new year. Oh, this is so nice and stretched. I had to put the safety pin there because the piece I wear across, so you won't see my boobs when you look through. It's in a, I washed it, but I can't remember <clears throat> why I didn't take it with me when I was out of town. And I didn't feel like digging for it because I was in the last minute rush. We get a raise at midnight. All right. How much is your raise? <laughs> Can a bitch borrow five dollars? I don't know who that is, but I don't want to say nothing negative on on the New Year's. And I could really say some low down dirty shit to some people, but I won't. Am I coming to NYC So Um, I don't know. Well, yes, I am. When the sun is out, when the sun is out, like it looked like the sun is out right between here. That's when I'm coming. I can't do any more snow. I can't do any more freezing cold. Negative five, negative twelve. I can't do it. Oh, I blocked that hoe. You know I did. You know I did. You know that finger, both of them, be ready. You know I did. But it's a new year. I ain't got time for that. You know what? I st stayed warm as best as I could, but... Chicago weather was just not my judge. It was really cold in Chicago. Well, I'm off this week. I just work on Thursday. And if it's um, if it's giving me anything like storm and shit, my black has to be at home. Because I'm not doing all that storming and all that crazy weather and shit. I don't want to do it. No, ma'am. You see, I'm not, I don't be bothered by the negativity. But you know what, Cardi B, Rush, just stay on here. Because <clears throat> I don't even care. You know why? Because I'm going to tell you why. You on my page, wasting your good life on me. So I'm very happy that you have nothing to do with your life and your life ain't worth shit. To where you have to be on my page telling me that I'm ugly, which I don't give a fuck. Because, bitch, I get offered an ax every day. You hear me? And your one little opinion is not going to do nothing for me. It's not going to break me. You cannot break me. I'm unbreakable. So when you in your worst pain, when you feel any pain, when your mama died, your daddy died, your granddaddy died, your grandmama died, somebody died, bitch, think of me. Because you should have been spending your time being happy, but you want to be on here trying to hate the judge. And I don't give a fuck. Because you just one of them undercover lovers that make a meme and keep making me blow the fuck up. So you keep doing what you're doing. I love haters because y'all do dumb shit and keep me so relevant. So when Every you feel pain in school, when you flunk a test, when you think you may get your ass whooped, you make sure you think of me. Every time you feel pain for the rest of your miserable life, you think of Jasmine motherfucking Masters. It ain't your bad bitch. No, ma'am. And the only reason why I'm blocking you is because I wanted you to hear that. Because once I put it in your ear, and you hear it, it's in your brain. 
And when you feel pain, you're going to remember this one. Because I said, remember me, bitch, in your pain. Any kind. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, it's a new year. And life is too short to be dealing with people you don't fucking like. Do you know it's a lot of people I'm not fucking with? And I, the new year, have nothing to do with it. It's because life is short. And I'm not dealing with no stupid, fake, phony motherfuckers. So I kick it by my fucking self most of the time. That's why I'm on here smoking weed with y'all. And y'all can see, ain't never no guest over here. And I'm on here a lot. Because I don't deal with a lot of motherfucking people. Y'all ain't in my house running up my electricity, breaking my shit, spilling shit on my shit. Y'all ain't doing none of that. This is a computer, a phone situation. So we getting our just, and when the time is up, guess what? I'm already in my motherfucking house, and it's just the way I fucking had it. With no stains, no blunt cigarette burns, none of that. No bitch pissing everywhere and eating up my shit. It's nothing of that. Because we have a communication in our own very fucking homes. So. I never asked you to be on here. So if you don't like me, guess what? I'm telling you to your face, bitch. I don't give a fuck. They ain't never bother me who liked me and who don't. Because I don't give a fuck. I just don't. Because it ain't my business what you think. You can say all you want to say. Just touch me. That's all I want you to do. And don't use the words, oh, you went too far. I just stumped it. No, but you shouldn't have just touched me. But like I said, I love haters because... Y'all makes me blow the fuck up. You make a meme about me, think it's going to hurt me? No, ma'am. <clears throat> Baby, you giving me free publicity. I want to show the fuck out of that. And I'm going to spread it out there so people can laugh, so people can share it. And then everybody come right around over here and find out me. So now they're more interested in what the hell this Jasmine per Master person is doing who is this person? How can we find her? And why is people always making memes out of her? So you're helping me a thousand percent. You're not making me do any work besides, <clears throat> excuse me, share the shit you come up with. So you keep doing that and you keep raising my motherfucking account and my savings, bitch. Keep paying my bills. I tell people, you got to know how to use your haters. See what they are doing. Because they're hating for something. And if they're hating, they spread the good word. And that's what happens. I'm 40 motherfucking one. I ain't got time for that. Bitch. Just my hater talking shit. Oh, yeah, somebody came on here and was like, you ugly bitch, and bitch, I'm back, and all. Baby, you calling me ugly. You don't even have your own picture on your page. And you probably fat, nasty, or bony and ugly with some thick-ass Coke bottle glasses. You probably gonna go to school, get bullied, get your ass kicked. But don't forget, little bitch, when you in pain, Jasmine Masters. <laughs> think of me, boo. And the worst thing you want to do is think of somebody you don't like when you in pain. <laughs> but I'm in here, anime. I'm in there. Think of me, bitch. Yeah, it's always one of them. You don't, but don't give. 
Okay, so I just taught that bitch a good lesson. So when that bitch is in pain, they're gonna think of me. Oh, I'm going to get that Dora um, Tuesday. No, I can't get it Tuesday because they're gonna be closed Wednesday. I sure am. I'm going to get my motherfucking Dora the Explorer. She's coming back, and I'm just gonna start doing my um. I have something to say again. I'm Jasmine Masters, and I have something to say. Your friends ain't your friends, bitch. Watch them hoes. I'm so happy to be home. I'm so happy. What did I leave behind in 2017? 2017. Baby, that was a whole, that's a whole nother year away. That's gone. 2017 is over. I can't go back and do shit and fix shit in 2017. So I left that whole motherfucking year behind. And I'm fresh and brand new for 2018. Oh yeah, I wear one of them big old blind wigs like Trixie's. Tony, happy new year, Jill. I want to go to Olive Garden, bitch, on third on Friday. On Friday. So what's the tea, bitch? We ain't seen each other. We need to talk. We need to do all that. You know what I mean? We need to start coming up with some plans. So 18 is here. Money moves. I'm good. How are you? Oh, thank you, Jill. Yes, you used that escape, didn't <clears throat> To the Queen's Court. She's gonna be out here soon, I believe. Uh, Madison. I did enjoy Australia, babe, and I cannot wait to come back. I think it's June, if I'm not mistaken. But I cannot wait to come back because uh, I loved Australia. Everywhere I went Sydney, Melbourne. Was the Manchester and Adelaide? Adelaide, I got my chair. <clears throat> you would have thought I lived in Adelaide. No, I'm baby. I am off work. I don't work until Thursday night in Palm Springs at Two Cans. I don't. I'm cooking tomorrow. Well, today I'm off on. I'm going to be with my baby on Monday. I mean, on Tuesday, we're going to, like, Chuck E. Cheese and all that other stuff he want to do. And then, um, yeah, we're going to do all that. And then Wednesday, I'm just going to work on some stuff for the show coming up in the following weeks. I didn't do that. Come to my work on the way. What time you work? I thought you said it was raining this week. She, she would be the bomb. And fuck that, you know, just got that book. Okay, got, girl, but I can't do nothing like that. Um, I don't have no goals for. <clears throat> uh, two thousand eighteen. Well, no, I, I can't say that because I do want to do more. I don't want to say TV stuff. Well, I guess t more TV stuff or more internet stuff, you know, more video work and, you know, little stuff like that. So that's the type of stuff I want to do. Uh, thank you, Claudette. Girl, I had mixed up some shit because everything was wrong. And then, I didn't even have no eyelash glue. Oh, shit. I need to charge my phone. Well, 
Because I forgot. This bitch is already on low. I meant to get on my damn notepad. Am I tripping? I'm tripping. Hold on, Jill. There I go. Come on, Peter. It's in charge. I'm so happy to be home in thine house with thine box and thine weed. Because, babe, it ain't nothing like being in thine house. Smoking thine mm. Sitting on nine toilet. And I'm about to take me at least about a good hour shower. Just antibacteria top to the fucking bottom. Just going to town in my fucking shower. I just want to feel my own fucking water on my fucking skin. Baby, I... Y'all know when people come on here, I block them most of the time. Sometimes I just let them rant. So y'all don't even pay them no attention. Just let them get... Let them get their anger out. They mad about something. They ain't getting love. Their parents, they can't come out to their parents and tell them that they're gay. They're depressed. They going through a lot. It's all right. They, they can say whatever they want to say. Y'all don't bother it. I won't bother it. Y'all know I'll block the fuck out of them. But you see their life ain't worth shit because they got a whole bunch of accounts. So I don't give a fuck. Stay on there and say whatever you want to say. You ain't bothering me. They just want me to give them attention. I do, but bitch, I need that instant coffee, Indiana. You've been playing. You've been trying to send it to my mailbox, PL box, and all that. And you haven't. Thanks, you. Yeah, I'm in for real. Y'all know I'm cool as fuck. I don't like these blunts, though. I don't know who bought these. They could have kept these. Girl, I was gone for a whole fucking month. <clears throat> There's no man. And no shade. I asked for that. I was like, damn, what would it feel? I want to know how it feels to be just gone for a month and just working. And it happened. And I brought in the new year like that. So that means 2018, baby. It's going to be right for me. I know it. <clears throat> I don't even have to say I wish and I think I'm speaking that into existence. It's going to work for me. 2018 is going to be a big year for me. Watch. It's going to be real big for me. No, baby. Your, your daddy should have put you in a sock. How about that? That's what your daddy should have did. And your mama should have boarded your ass. How about that? We're taking y'all a day out on this couch. What's this twisted? <laughs> oh, I am going to enjoy it. Oh, baby. I hope all of you enjoy your, you know, 2018, too. I mean, shit. Love you, too, boo. It's a lot of shit people went through that I hope nobody go through again. You know, I just hope. Everybody just 
be able to breathe and just enjoy. I think people should just start learning who you are as a person. A lot of people don't know who they are. So if you really ain't thought about like who you are and what kind of person you are, baby, figure that out now. And that will help you in the long run. And then when you start figuring out who you are and your goal for yourself in life, you're going to start thinking about the people in your life. Should they be in your life? Where they should be in your life? Or do they need to get out of your life? Because no one is going to be in your life forever. Go fuck the dumb shit. Mm -mm. Happy New Year to you too. And someone just asked me, well, well, yeah. I said, girl, you know, do you are you ready to have a conversation with an old friend? Oh, baby. No, I don't have nothing to talk about. You know, that was Almost 12 years ago, boo. What we had to talk about in 12 years? I mean, they was crossing me. I never crossed them. So no, I'm, I'm real cool. You know what I mean? So, it don't matter. We don't need to talk about shit. We ain't going to be friends again, no ma'am. know what to say. Free yourself from this baby. And he said something right. So that show is true. Oh, you know what? This is, um, what am I wearing? Some eyeshadow. No shade. <laughs> because I have some um I have some um this matte lipstick on and then I needed to change my lips like a darker color for my next number. So I used some dark brown uh eyeshadow and pat it on top of it. And it got it. I mean, it's not even bleeding off or nothing. I don't know what this wig is. This wig was like $19.99 at Sloss and Swami. And I seen it. And I was like, ah, oh, and it goes so many different ways. But it's like goes like it's like in different shit over there, then it goes. It's just my little throw on page. This when the bitch is trying to get into the door. This is my running late look. Because I don't have on like pads and stockings and stuff. I just throw a little Vaseline or some Ampeline on my legs. Throw on a sickening pump. Throw on my little coat, my little shortcut. And I'm, I'm ready for the party. And I wore this motherfucker so many times to two different events. And turned the party. And I'm just sitting up in there with my box of briefs. Just free at last. Not giving a fuck. Got people just copying me. Oh, you look so nice. Look at your coat. Women and everything. And I'm just sitting there just in box of briefs. Not a tuck and uck at all. Because baby, please, I can't be bothered. So this right here. I'm going to make a few more of these for this year because there's a lot of shit going on and I need to be, you know, cute, comfortable, and relaxed. Favorite makeup. I don't have a favorite makeup because I have on so much different people. 
So I don't know. But I do know Black Opal for myself is really good because when I sweat and I pat myself back, you know, this pat, it don't start uh, blotching away. Yeah, I'm... What's the sick of the tone? <laughs> Baby, just chew the shit. Chew, talk, and smoke. I mean, what else is there? <coughs> oh, I, I never seen that. But that's what I use, though. Black folk is really good for, you know, black folks. And it's good for, you know, the white girls and the brighter girls to use for a contour. Because she gives you a nice, soft, matte feeling. And a look, no shade. And if you have the right light, I mean, your heart. Well, you say you need advice about what? How to let go of laying niggas. I'm not feeling them. <clears throat> you just stop communicating. Meaning like you don't text, you don't call, you don't go over their house. The only time y'all talk is when they talk to you or call you. You just gotta sometimes just stay quiet and just you know, let things smooth over without conflict. You know what I mean? Uh-oh, what happened? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> But yeah, because there's so many people that I had just, I just stayed quiet. You know what I mean? I just quit texting them, calling them, you know, all that. And you just be quiet with it. Just leave them alone. And then, you know, that way, it's not like an attitude. It's not animosity. It's just like, oh, you're not just really been busy or, <clears throat> you know, whatever. Focusing on whatever. And that way, it's nothing bad. But if you know they ain't good for you, baby, you know they, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, just do it like that. Oh, uh, thank you for stopping in. Happy New Year to you too. Always. And that's why, baby, you just be quiet and just, you know, just, just stop, you know, just let me do away, you know, go away softly. With no drama, you feel that way, they probably are. And that's when you just stop calling, you just stop all that. Mm -mm, girl, I'm busy, I'm working, I'm going somewhere, all that type of thing. They get the picture. They be like, "Dang, are you always busy?" Be like, girl, yeah, I got a lot going on. I just been busy or whatever. If you feel like they like that, baby, trust me. I let some people go the same way. 
because I felt like, you know, they were fake. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I don't feel like they, I don't feel like they a friend to me. So I'm just going to not, you know, go off. I'm just going to quit dealing with them. And now, <clears throat> you know, we could see each other and we could just say, you know, hey, what's up, whatever, without any going back and forth. So, that's the best thing I could say. Baby, I don't know who they need for dances, but they sure don't need me. Because I'm not about to do all that. Unless I'm getting paid thousands. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that much rehearsal. And do put it up, not the dot. No, baby, I need to pay, pay thousands. Give me about five thousand, and I'll fuck it up. Yep. Oh, I did. I laid in that bed today, baby. It was awful. I mean, not awful. It was amazing. But I was reading somebody else's comment. I'm sorry. But yes, oh, I loved it. <coughs> I don't know how you tried to lose weight. I don't know what you was doing. But you better start eating salads and, and, and baked fish and baked chicken. What they say they do on there and do water. Drink a lot of water. Or get you a nutrition or something. Go to the gym. You got to start working out. You got to get on your shit. You just can't sit your ass home and eat and think you're going to lose weight. You got to go out there and sweat that shit off. And don't think don't think because you did something for a week that you're going to lose weight like that. No, you got to work at it. But if it don't work, then you probably probably need to go see a doctor, get a nutrition or something. And don't start getting that, that bypass stuff. Oh, you and your boyfriend? Hey, boyfriend, I love you guys too. No cars will help you lose weight <clears throat> and walk two miles a day. But we're going to walk four because she already tried or he already tried and it didn't work. So we're going to double that two into four. Oh, hey, Travis, what's going on? Travis. Travis. I'm glad you're home, Travis. I miss you, too. Um, oh, I love you, too. When I'm smoking some weed, <laughs> I don't know what kind it is because the little tag is cut off and then trash. But I think it's from Bama because when I opened up my little container, I had this container for years. Um, and I taped this bitch right back up. It ain't going nowhere. It had a real loud ass smell to it. So I know it's from Bama. And I'm not I'm not getting rid of my motherfucking thing. I love it. Tape that bitch right back the fuck up. Somebody I got you a new weed case. Bitch, I don't need that. Take that shit the fuck up out of here. But George broke. I know that bitch. That's why I keep taping the fuck up. That's my gist right there. I mean, that bitch been through it. I mean, that bitch traveled before. What the fuck? Sometimes I ain't had shit but that hoe. So no, take that shit off. I got this. 
Thank you kindly. Give me a gift card. Is nigga everywhere today? What? No, ma'am. I didn't hear nothing about that. So they got weed legal everywhere in 2018. I know in Florida, you can have weed. They don't trip off you having weed just, just as long as you don't have enough like you're trying to sell it or something. But you have a couple of bags of weed or a couple of blunts, you be cool. I got, you know, I trying to add some tea while I was out there because I was... <laughs> But, yeah, so that's cute. Just how you some blunts roll. Just gonna have, like, bags of weed just in the bag. Just roll you some fucking blunts. I'm about to smoke these. Fuck, sell them. But in Chicago, we went to J&J's uh, Fish and Chips. Baby, the niggas was out there in the snow talking about they got that loud. I got that loud. I got that loud. I got that out. I'm like, I better not say give me some. So I just, girl, let's roll. I was like, no, ma'am. I said, bitch, I know they got some stank ass weed. And I wanted something so bad, but the weed I had got from my homegirl, it was real cute. Push up and drive, baby. No more. Not when they said that's a DUI. Fuck that. I won't be blazing no more. Not in my shit. I can say it now. I used to smoke my ass off driving up and down the street before. But right now, New Year, no ma'am. I'm cool on that. But I, I, when I get out the fucking car, I'll light this bitch up and I'll walk down the street smoking me a blunt. Fuck that. I carry cologne with me all the time anyway. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Then you don't smell it. Because I don't spray this shit. And I wear good shit. Can't use that bath and body work shit. But they definitely gonna legalize it. Everybody gonna do it. You been stressed? Oh no. Stress ain't killed. How did you do it when you was in London? Um You mean like smoking? Did I smoke when I was in London? I don't think I did. I can't remember. You can't smoke and dry though. Okay. Is the weed smell harder to get in a room if you had to move or whatever? Um, yeah. But you know, that's why you, you get like the oil burners. You get like uh, incense or something. You get like a, a sprayer or something, like a Febreze or something to try to fight the smell down. But Fabuloso, baby, you burn your little Fabuloso in like a little cheap ass pot. That shit. We kill that shit so quick. Yeah, you can probably get you driving. Hey, huh? They ain't gonna catch me driving, huh? Uh, no, I didn't smoke shit over there. I, I didn't smoke that. What the hell is that? Okay, wait a minute. You were stressed out. Chicago show don't give a damn, and I love every bit of it. I had a brand new Christmas. Look, I'm still super high. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I know it's not legal in Australia. Baby, <clears throat> baby Australia don't play. But they let y'all drink at 18, right? 
I didn't hear that. Oh, not a bomb. I oh, thank you, Jim. I love when Jackson never got something to say. Oh, thank you, Jim. When you eat the edible, your throat be highly dry. And when you wake up, no man. Baby, them edibles fucks you down. When you get to know you now, law pass for a day. No clean secret after seventy five dollars. Oh, car registration. Girl, out seventy five dollars. Girl, my registration be like eighty four dollars. If I don't have no tickets, they tacked on there. They sure will fuck you up with registration come, baby. Throwing on them tickets from the 80s. Is that hot chocolate? Okay, so it's time to come back to Australia. Me too. Yeah, drinking 80s. AT over here as well. Yep. Because, baby, there was some people getting fucked up. I said, no, ma'am. <clears throat> no, I don't know when I'm back in Scotland, love. A camera of corporate aesthetics. Uh huh. You know, I'm very business woman type. And then I get hood. This gum still got flavor. I'm sorry, I'm chewing it like a cow, but it's good to fuck. And fall for day if you are careful. Baby, edibles will have you fucked up. You'd be like, what the fuck? But, yeah, my car registration was two eighty one. This my oh well, girl, it's going up seventy five dollars for a twenty CEO. That part, oh, I sure do pay my taxes, boo. You have a great new year too, love. Because shit. They need to just let people smoke weed. I think more people would rather smoke than drink. Because you don't get hung over no motherfucking weed, though. You know what I mean? Baby, I ain't never had no shrooms, No mushrooms. None of that. I ain't never had none of that type of shit. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. I oh no, ma'am. At one time I had tried. Damn. I don't even know what kind of pill that was. It was it called ecstasy? It was some type of pill that was real popular back in the day. And my uh Play brothers had they used to take them, and he had cut it in half, and then he cut that in half, and then he cut that in half, and gave me one of them pieces, and I put that shit on my tongue, and that shit started like popping, like them popping candies, baby. I spit that shit out and took my ID, and I was scraping the fuck out my tongue. Oh, no, ma'am. I ran in the bathroom, got some soap. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? I was like, see, uh-uh. That's, I just like, that shit doing that shit to your heart. So, <clears throat> I was like, now nah, I'm cool. I mean, I set it there, and then like the next five seconds, it was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I ran to the bathroom. I was like, bitch, I'm cool on that. Fuck that. And that was it. Other than that, I ain't never tried no other type of drug. It just been marijuana. And that's not even a drug. That's a herb. Honey, that's a, a seed and some motherfucking water and dirt. This ain't no motherfucking chemical. What the fuck? Who said we can't smoke grass in your fucking lawn with that shit dry up? You know what I mean? 
We could get high off that shit too. Who knows? Motherfuckers gonna eat and they gonna give a fuck about shit. I don't wanna be bothered and fighting, doing all that bullshit and talking shit and all that. They gonna wanna fucking smoke some weed and have some fun. Liquor, it would bring the anger out of people. Not no motherfucking weed. We make a motherfucker want to sit the fuck down and eat. Bitch, y'all don't want to be bothered with it, man. They be like, bitch, I'm high. Uh, you cool, you cool, you cool. Liquor is the one that make you want to bust a bitch in the head and shit. That's the shit they need to be figuring out. They read about some motherfucking weed. They have just some of the seasons. Yeah, weed is misunderstood. People been smoking reefer, what they used to call it back in the day. Back in the day. Some motherfucking reefer. It's like, bitch, this is weed, bitch. Chill the fuck out. This is the, I'm cool as fuck drug. Y'all want bitches to be fighting and shit. <clears throat> People ain't fight over no fucking weed. They talking shit out, yelling, passing the blunt to each other. Ain't nobody finna throw no blows off no weed. Give a bitch some handy. Oh, baby, we finna knock holes in this motherfucking place. You know what I mean? Am I lying? Am I lying? Ain't playing for that. Once you high enough, I'm over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody ready to get fucking high and you know drinking. Shit. You can smoke all the fuck you want, no hangover. You ain't gotta be throwing up and shit, stomach hurting. You ain't gotta go through all that. All you gotta do is smoke some motherfucking weed. Set your alarm. You're going to wake the fuck up because you're going to be out like a motherfucker. Because the weed is... <clears throat> Put you in a deep ass coma. And all of a sudden you up. You know what I mean? You good. Some coffee, you right back to normal. I know these things. I'm just saying, 600, god damn, 600 for what? My husband's like 600 for registration for his truck. Ooh! Girl, what kind of truck he got? Is that with tickets? Or, I mean, what's the team? He got, what's his driver's license like? You know, he got points? What's going on? I mean, if he got it, I mean, you know, y'all got the money like that, but damn. I'm in a hundred motherfucking accord. And my shit be like cheap as fuck. And as soon as that hoe come in, I pay that bitch right the fuck off before they tack on the motherfucking ticket. No ticket, just registration. <laughs> But the good thing is, it's once a year. But I don't want to pay for nothing six hundred dollars once. Not, mm. but you know what? If fuck that, if that's what the fuck he want, and that's what he got the money to do, tell his ass to keep fucking doing it. Shit, you might as fucking well. He's keeping a roof over his head. He's doing this shit. Because, baby, you might as well. I'm about to get me up like a Mercedes or something. Keep that for about two years. So I can just dip it and do it, do it and dip it. 
and then turn that bitch back in and get something else. Because um, I'm not trying to pay off my cars. It's 186 with the person I played, and I'm about to get rid of that. <laughs> no, ma'am. And you think about it every time it's time to pay that registration, you be like, why is this shit so damn high? And then you see on the side, and it's that goddamn plate. I, 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 baby, I would use the plate they gave me. Fuck that. I don't want to pay extra for shit the fuck else. Car registration in Australia is $770. Baby, please. That's too much. I'm at home in my village, you look at my rig, my beautiful decor. I spray painted that metallic silver. And she was a whole nother color. And then she matched my new decor. Okay, and with that, I can now, uh -uh. See, that's the only thing, though, I'm worried about the, the registration for the Mercedes or the BMW. I, I don't want a BMW. I don't even want a Mercedes. I just know I could get one. So I just want to drive that bitch around for about two years and then turn that bitch right back in and get something else. No shade. I paid off three cars. I'm not paying off another one. It may sound crazy, but it's, a, it's just building up my credit. It's looking real good on my credit. You know what I mean? And that's good because I don't want to have I don't want to have a lot of credit cards. So I could pay that whole pay all your bills on one card and pay that card, and I don't want to do all that anymore. I'm cute right now. And you know, shit, I got a little money on down that car, bitch, and run her up. She's like a rental for a month. I mean, shit, think about it. You were doing Uber, you pay more. Shit. But then you do get tired of paying. You just want to have a car, but you don't have no car, no, because I know that is a beautiful thing. And it has been on my mind to go find me a good old Honda somewhere and just have them rip that engine out, put a new one up in there, it's about $1,500, and um, get that bitch running like brand new and then turn that bitch back in. I don't want this bitch no more. That's been on my mind because I see them all the time. You get you a Honda anyway. Yeah, you just go right there to probably no car lots and get your Honda and just have somebody do that whole shit all over for a couple of thousand. Pay that shit off. You want to worry about that shit for about three, four years. All you got to do is keep oil in that motherfucker. That's a good ass Honda right there. I'm telling you. Toyota cars. You know what? I never heard nothing bad about Toyota cars. I honestly haven't. I never heard anything bad about Toyotas. But I know Hondas. You just got to keep oil in that bitch. And Toyotas, is, yeah, Toyotas are good because I never heard anything bad about Toyotas. Oh, this thing gonna go off. Well, we on the countdown, people. This was a lovely New Year's. Toyota, no problem. Okay? You got nine payments left on your Nissan path. Oh, baby, I know you happy. I know you happy. 